Hey guys, Jesse the AMG guy over here at Mercedes Benz of Wyndham with Steve Ward. Today we want to get you one of our brand new C classes that has just came out. Right here we've got the 2016 C450 AMG. So another unique collaboration between Mercedes Benz and AMG, and how do we uh, fill that gap between giving you a performance versus luxury versus price points and things like that? And this is uh, ultimately at the end of the day, this is what we've come up with. C450, uh, awesome, awesome little car. Uh, we'll do a quick walk around video of it and explain some of the some of the benefits and the features that you'll get with the C450 versus the C300. And then obviously this is going to be just a step down from what our C63 AMG is going to be. Uh, while Steve is up in the front, I'm actually going to keep him up there. Uh, same lighting package as the traditional C-Class. We've got the uh, all-LED uh, headlights with the intelligent lighting system that runs off the steering angle sensor. We can make them go up and down, side to side. Really nice uh, LED jewel-like uh, turn signals up in the top. Very aesthetically pleasing, extremely bright. They tie in with the adaptive high beam assist, which is going to be a multi-function camera that's going to be right up in the top of the windscreen up here. Uh, obviously rain sensing lights, uh, wipers, automatic headlights, all that kind of stuff. A couple of unique things that might stand out just a little bit from the front the side profiles. This one does have the Knight's Dining package on it. It's a couple hundred bucks. Really cool. This little lower balance down here that's normally either an aluminum finish in the C63 or a body painted color uh, is done in the black. The C450 is going to get also the diamond studded grille. Now, that's going to be traditional just for the C450. We don't have it on the 300s or the actual AMG. It'll just be for the 450. As we come across to the side, we will get a nice AMG wheel. We're going to get an AMG style brake system, so they are going to be a little bit larger than what the traditional C300 is going to be, but a little bit smaller than the, uh, the C63. And then we get the really nice black mirrors as part of the night styling, all of the black window treatments that go around there. So by the time we put a little window tint on there, it just makes the car look absolutely stunning. Traditional sport package on the side skirts down towards the bottom, just like what we get on the C300. And then again, uh, a little bit wider tire, we'll have a C45 in the back. As we come around to the back of the car, we keep the nice LED turn or tail lights with the turn signals. Uh, we get the uh, an AMG inspired rear exhaust. We'll get the little slit down the middle to mimic what a C63 does with the quad tailpipes. The nice black painted diffuser. We do get a C63 inspired uh, uh, aerodynamic wing. It's actually very, very unique in its look. It almost looks like it's placed on backwards. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but apparently this gives us quite a bit of down pressure uh, as the car is going through. Help keep the back of the car down. Now, one unique thing is, is that obviously we'll see the designation for the C450 on the back. We do not, however, see anything formatic on this side. All of the C450s are formatic. They do have an AMG inspired formatic system, uh, like what we have in the E63s, the S63s, and a couple of the other vehicles. So it is all-wheel drive. Obviously, us being in Utah and the mountain states, uh, we deal with a little bit of a lot of snow and inclement weather, so it makes it per absolutely perfect for that. Uh, as we come around over to the side, we'll open this up a little bit. This is going to be the polar white, one of my favorite whites. It's very stark. Uh, I like the contrast. This one's got the crystal gray interior in it. We do keep the same black satin ash uh, appointments in there. Burmester surround sound system, 14-way uh, power seats, one-touch windows. The seats themselves are going to be uh, much more bolstered than the standard C300. Uh, they do mimic an AMG, actual AMG seat. Uh, a little more uh, side support as you're uh, driving the car around the corners. Makes it really cool. Really nice interior ambient lighting package with the upgraded leather features. Touch pads, Bluetooth voice control, uh, Bluetooth audio streaming, brake holds, brake drive, brake prime, all these cool standard safety features uh, that go really well with the way that the car performs. This does have the multimedia package, so we're going to have the larger high res screen, backup cameras, it does give us the voice control, uh, obviously the uh, Navi updates and all that kind of stuff. This one does have a panorama roof, so a panorama roof, all glass, which looks really cool, really ties into the night styling really well, allows us to be able to slide this top half up over the back, and then obviously with all of our sedans, we do have the little rack holders, so we can plug in and we can put the skis, the bikes, the snowboards, whatever we might need to put on there, they're all going to be real, built right into the top of the car. So as far as AMG goes, so what, what does that really mean? Obviously this car
far as not an actual full money, like what most of us would, you would want, but if our budget's a little more restricted uh, than what we can get. So with the 450, we're going to get the same type of a 3 liter twin turbocharged V6 as what we get in the E400, the GL450, um, which is going to be the GLS, and a couple of our other cars. So again, this is going to be the 3 liter twin turbocharged V6. Uh, one of the things that we, we've done is we've kind of done this cool little red insignia on the top of it. I don't know what the hell it means. It's just supposed to look cool, I suppose. But that does let us know it's a, a little bit hotter than the other one. Uh, most of the 3 liter V6s are running right around 329 horsepower. AMG does actually step in and take, uh, take a couple of little things out of their, their pages. We tune this one to 362 horsepower, 384 foot-pounds of torque. On this particular model, it's going to run through our 7-speed uh, driver adaptive automatic transmission. We do get the nice steering wheel paddles, paddles on the steering wheel. However, it will be just a little bit different than what we have in the actual AMG because the actual AMG will have what we call a multi-clutch plate uh, or a dual-clutch type transmission. Uh, so this one's going to work just a little bit different. Um, all of the 16C classes, so when we came out in 15, we had what we call Agility Select. Um, many of you may know that that's where we could go through and we do individual sport, comfort, uh, sport plus, uh, eco modes, those kinds of things. We've actually changed that over to what we call Dynamic Select. We can come in and tailor the steering feel, engine shift points, the way that the car handles and performs. Uh, so it, it, they've reworked that a little bit. It actually, in my opinion, it works a little bit better. When we're putting this car into a Sport or a Sport Plus mode, we do get a full AMG inspired exhaust, so we actually get some of the burping and that kind of stuff when we're the rev matching, when we're downshifting and things like that. So the car, it's almost a Jekyll and Hyde type uh, scenario. This one is, in my opinion, is purely brilliant just in the simple fact that on your everyday commutes you to and from the office, you just run it in the comfort mode. It's fantastic in the snow, drives like a beautiful sedan. You have that ability with that dynamic select, throw it up into the, the Sport Plus mode, and it just really comes to life. The car really wants to just take off, so it's really cool stuff. As far as safety features goes, tons and tons of standard safety features. All of the 16s uh, will come with what we call Collision Prevention Assist Plus, so we have autonomous type braking uh, in the front of the vehicle, so we're not be paying attention to anything for 155 miles an hour. Uh, these will kick in and, and give us some... Uh, autonomous braking. Another unique aspect obviously is a part of the AMG um, is that our traditional top speed on the C300 class is going to be lit electronically limited at 130 whereas on this particular model uh, being designated as uh, a part of the AMG family just as with the C60, the standard C63 uh, we electronically limit this guy at 155. So not only do we get a little extra horsepower, a couple extra little creature comforts, the car feels much sportier, it drives a little bit sportier, obviously we can take it out on the road and go a little bit quicker, it, which is really cool. So ultimately at the end of the day. Um, most of the C450s are going to come fairly standard with a lot of the, the standard type features that you would expect as far as heated seats and the sound systems and things like that. We have repackaged a couple of things from 15 to 16 from the premium one package, giving us virtually every option uh, to a P2 package and a standard P1. Most of the C450s that we find are going to have the premium two package, gives us a Burmester -so surround sound system, uh, a couple of other things like that. Now it's down in the multimedia, the lighting package. And that's where I really find that the C450 is really going to be, a, in my opinion, a brilliant car. You've got the BMW uh, and the 340i. That particular vehicle is going to make about 320 horsepower, so we're going to trump that one there. When you start looking at the Audi uh, uh, A4 with the S package, we're going to be right, they're going to be running that V6, and it's going to be right around 333 horsepower. So we're going to be even on top of that one. Uh, you've got the new Lexus that's coming out at about 320 horsepower. So everybody's really kind of dabbling, you know, dabbling in this market. Yeah, I think BMW up until this point is really been the keystone and, and, and captured the market um, with their M lines, uh, but I think this is something that's, that's seriously going to take a, a really good chunk out of that. It's probably got the best interior space uh, of any vehicle. The 2015 is going to share the same as the 2016 as far as the interior looks. Uh, the 2015 uh, World Car of the Year, uh, all accolades and awards, the beautiful design, key elements, the performance that's going to match the way that the car looks. I think the 
that they've proved, done an absolutely brilliant job with this particular vehicle. Um, as always, Steve and I, we certainly appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Something new for 2016, Steve and I are really, really trying to push the, the YouTube page and to get as many likes and followers. So uh, one of the things that we are going to do, obviously, we want to be uh, informational, we want to be instructional, we want to let you know what's coming out, what's new. But we also want to make you very aware that all these vehicles are available uh, to be sold. They're down here at the dealership. Uh, we'll try to refresh these. Obviously, we, we let some of these just kick on there, so we'll work on a couple of things. But if you guys are watching this and you know somebody that's been kind of uh, maybe putting a bug in your ear or you know somebody that might be uh, benefit for something like this, we're down here to, to make sure that everybody's happy, make sure everybody's taken care of, uh, to give them really the best uh, customer service that one can expect from Mercedes-Benz uh, and make somebody a, a new happy owner. Um, so if there's anything that Steve Ward or, or I can do for you down here at the dealership, uh, please don't hesitate to let us know. Share us, like us. We're on Instagram. We're on uh, Facebook. We're, we're all over the place. So just, we're just trying to get the name out there and we'll see if we can't uh, get some new happy owners. At the end of the day, we're very much in gratitude uh, for or well over a million views now for the video, so we certainly want to thank you guys for that because you guys are the ones that have been able to allow us to get this far. So thank you so much, and uh, if there's anything we can do for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Have a great afternoon, guys.